to make a very simple um, venison cheeseburger with caramelized uh, balsamic onions and the ingredients are we are using today are um, butter unsalted um, free range eggs some mozzarella cheese um, tomato uh, flat leaf parsley um, wild rocket um, very strong white bread flour salt some balsamic vinegar of Modena then we need some white onions we need some uh, extra virgin olive oil we need some uh, yeast we need some sugar we need some Dijon mustard we need some whole grain mustard we need some black pepper we need some mayonnaise made of free range eggs we need some um, whole milk whole milk and of course we need some um, venison mince come on so here's your venison mince smashing right right ladies and gentlemen and all Let's get started! Right, right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, first thing to do is add 500 grams of your strong white bread flour um, to a large bowl, like so. Smash in. Right, right, ladies and gentlemen, and to your flour, um, add 50 grams of unsalted butter. The butter has to be soft, obviously, makes things easier. Smash it. Right, right, ladies and gentlemen, and now add two and a half tablespoons of sugar. Smash it. Right, right, ladies and gentlemen, and now add three tablespoons of whole milk. Give it a good shaky, shaky. Smash it. Now add one tablespoon of olive oil. Right, right, ladies and gentlemen, and now add one and a half teaspoons of salt. And now add one free range egg. Right, right, ladies and gentlemen, and now add one sachet of uh, dried yeast. Special. Right, right, ladies and gentlemen, and to this at 220 milliliters of uh, warm water, lukewarm water. Oh, after that much work, definitely time for a zippy. Right, right, ladies and gentlemen, and now grab your um, electric hand mixer and knead the dough for at least um, 20 minutes, 15 to 20 minutes. Smash it. Right, right, ladies and gentlemen, and when you have a nice elastic but still sticky dough, um, like this one, cover with cling film.
Right, right, ladies and gentlemen, and now set aside until double the size, which will take about maybe one hour, maybe two hours. Special. Right, right, ladies and gentlemen, and while you're waiting for your dough, it's doubling in size. Time for a zippy. Right, right, ladies and gentlemen, and now. Mm, When your dough um, has doubled in size, as you can see, um, remove the crinkle and divide your dough into six equal pieces and lightly flour your hands while you're doing this. So I'm using my uh, strong white bread flour to lightly flour everything. Then divide the dough into six equal pieces, more or less. And then shape it into a bun, like so. Just um, roll it or stuff it into the bottom. Then you end up with a thing like this one, smash it, and then place it onto a baking tray lined with baking paper, and repeat with the remaining dough, smash it. Whew, after that much work, time for a zippy. Mm. Um, so when you have uh, made your six burger buns, obviously they are not the same size. Um, I need glasses, whatever. Um, cover with a cling film or tea towel and um, allow to double in size for another 45 minutes. Special. When you are waiting for your buns are doubling in size, time for the zippy. Right, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, mm. We are now 20 minutes into the proving process of the buns. So now get your kettle, uh, bring it to the boil, preheat your oven to 200 degrees Celsius, like so. Smash it. And while your kettle is boiling, and your oven is preheating. Time for a zippy. Ah. Right, ladies and gentlemen, and when your water is um, boiled, get, or get yourself um, oven proof dish and fill in your water. Yes, a waiting process because the oven is not preheated. Time for a zippy. Right, right, ladies and gentlemen, and now. Mm. Um, grab yourself. small bowl, add some milk, and grab yourself a brush and carefully brush the pans, very gen gentle, gen yeah, gentle, um, you don't want to get any air out of the pans. And repeat with the remaining ones. Smash them. Pretty right, ladies and gentlemen. And now get your buns in the oven. 
and bake for about uh, I would say 15 or oh, between 15 and 20 minutes special and while you are have your buns in the oven time for a zippy Right, right, ladies and gentlemen. After 20 minutes, uh, get your buns out of the oven. Obviously, you turn off the oven. Smash it. Right, right, ladies and gentlemen. And now, give your buns a little bit time of uh, oh, to cool off. Right, ladies and gentlemen, and now <coughs> grab yourself um, two onions. Uh, we need about uh, 200 grams of um, white onion. Cut off the uh, top, then peel them. Then cut your onion into half, like so. I mean, you can or you could have cut your onion in half beforehand, doesn't really matter. And now, finally, slice your onion, like so. You want about uh, this thick. And repeat with the remaining ones. Smash it. After that much work and lots of tears, it's time for a zippy. Right, right, ladies and gentlemen, and now grab yourself a large frying pan, bring it up to a medium low heat, and to this frying pan add about two tablespoons of um, olive oil like so smash it and while you're waiting for your olive oil it's getting hot time for the zippy <sighs> right right ladies and gentlemen and now mm, When your oil is hot, get your onions into your frying pan. Smash it. Then give it a little shaky shaky. And now season with some salt. And now season with some black pepper. Now give it a shaky shaky again. Whoops. And fry for about 10 minutes. Smash it. While you're waiting for your onions, you're getting fried or caramelized, whatever, fried, um, time for a zippy. Right, right, ladies and gentlemen, and when your onions are soft and start to get some color, but not um, blonde, um, the color from their natural sugars, I guess, um, add some balsamic. Uh, you need one tablespoon per 100 grams of um, onions, therefore we are using two tablespoons as we were using 200 grams of onions smash in now give this a good stir make sure every onion is 
cover it with your balsamic and fry for another five to seven minutes. Smash them. And while you're waiting for your onions getting kind of fried, caramelized, um, time for a zippy. Right, right, ladies and gentlemen, and uh, uh, when your onions are done, um, grab a bowl, a small bowl, and transfer your onions to the bowl. and keep your onions warm smash it and now get some kitchen towel and wipe out your pan right right ladies and gentlemen and now grab yourself your um, flat leaf parsley and uh, this is uh, 25 gram back we need about 20 grams just cut off the stalks like so then roll it up kind of kind of a cigar ish thing and finally chop the parsley like so Right, 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 ladies and gentlemen, now grab your um, uh, minced venison, get it into a large bowl. Right, right, ladies and gentlemen, and now to your venison, add four tablespoons of good quality Dijon mustard. Right, right, ladies and gentlemen, and now add your um, flat leaf parsley. And now mix everything together. Whew, after that much work, time for a zippy. Mm. And then again, reheat your uh, frying pan. Get in um, two tablespoons of olive oil, maybe three, doesn't really matter. Right, right, ladies and gentlemen, and now for the um, uh, sauce, get yourself some mayo uh, made out of free range eggs, obviously. We need three tablespoons of mayo. To your um, mayo, add three teaspoons of whole grain mustard, this stuff here. And now mix your stuff together. And keep in your fridge until needed. Smash it. Right, right, ladies and gentlemen, and now grab your venison. Um, and so this was one kilo of minced venison we need six patties kind of make six patties or equal patties this size and depending on your burger bun the thickness you like Maybe this thick. And then into the frying pan.
right hand cook your patties to your liking give them a turn every now and then because this keeps um, they have the, the moisture more in the middle of the patty and while your venison burgers are frying time for the dippy Right, ladies and gentlemen, and mm, when your burger patties are almost done, grab yourself some mozzarella cheese and top your patties with the mozzarella. And then cover with some tin foil or if you have a lid then obviously use the lid and allow the cheese to melt smash it right, right ladies and gentlemen and while your uh, cheese is melting um, grab yourself your um, tomato and cut in slices as thin or as thick as you like, like so, and set aside until needed. Smash it. Right, right, ladies and gentlemen, and now it's time to plate up. Take your burger bun, really nice and soft. Um, you can toast your buns. Uh, I don't really like uh, toasted buns for some reason. Well, for sometimes I do like them, sometimes I don't. And now spread both sides with your mustard mayo. Then get some wild rocket on your bottom part of um, your burger bun. Then top with a patty and now top with your caramelized onions and here we have it the um, Venison cheeseburger with white rocket, caramelized balsamic onions and uh, whole grain mustard mayo. Anyway, as always, at this time, at this... Oh, oh wait, 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 wait. Uh, at a uh, tomato slice as well like so so again here we have the uh, venison burger or venison cheeseburger with caramelized balsamic onions with um, whole grain mustard mayo So, anyway, as always, at this time, at this place, at this very moment, it's time for the tea. And... If you watch GB, the Green Bastard, you probably recognize 
uh, this kind of beer and <coughs> if you don't know GB the green bastard you should go to his channel because he has fucking awesome recipes so GB this one's for you. Ah, smashing. Bye bye, and see you next time.